Hey folks, Fernando doing another video for more survivalists and here we have an interesting little video. This is from Brazil. This is a store owner that ended up defending against three burglars and ended up killing the three of them. Now, warning, the, these are a little bit of a violent images and if you are susceptible to these sort of things, keep that in mind. And also for YouTube, this is already in YouTube, I'll leave the link below for the original source, but this has already been uploaded and seems to be quite fine with, with YouTube. I'm only doing an analysis here of the situation so as to learn from this. This is for, for education purposes only, okay? So let's watch it. It's just 42 seconds, goes by very fast. Let me just say you have one criminal here, you have another one here, and another one up here. And here you have the store owners you have one here and another one over there and all of a sudden this goes by very fast already he draws a gun it's pointing it at one of the store owners apparently the store owner had already been mugged before so he was armed and very upset he keeps on moving forward moving his mouth as if, as if he's speaking and talking to the, the the robber and he keeps on moving forward and he goes for it draw start shooting boom 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 and he ends up hitting the three of them and that's it you see how he kicks one of them that's in the ground he picks up the revolver and actually shoots them with a couple of anchor shots there you know spreading a little bit all, all over the place um, so goes by very fast yet there's several lessons here to be learned so let's go again through it little by little right so First thing first, you see that the, the store owner is already at gunpoint here. He's just too upset, he's too angry, and he will not let this go through. So he keeps on moving forward, closing the distance. The, the, the robber is obviously telling him to stay put, and he just keeps on moving forward. You know, this is all pretty dangerous, you could get shot any second there, but he just goes for it. And as you see, he has the firearm in what would be an uh, appendix carry. I actually don't see any holster. I looked at this very closely and my criticism with uh, appendix carry in general is mm, it, there seems to be a lot more uh, accidental discharges towards uh, more complicated parts, uh, areas of, of the body. So that one would be one of the things I don't like. But there's also another reason why I'm not a big fan of appendix carry, which is this, what you see here. Any movement that you make when there is a, an attacker right in front of you, it is extremely obvious and visible. He, he sees, as well as we see, that he's just lifting his shirt and bringing a, a gun out. If he had been carrying three, four, four, uh, four o'clock position, four o'clock position would be just behind his hip. And I've seen several videos like these where the uh, the, the, the person defending himself draws the gun even without the uh, attacker realizing or fully seeing that the gun is being drawn because it is behind his hip. He, here with appendix carry, no such thing. The guy attacking you will see every movement you make and it will be very, very obvious. You could even use your, um, your, um, your, your left hand if you're righty use your left hand bringing it up like in a surrender position while drawing, uh, concealing the gun being drawn behind the hip. There's several things you could do. Here, no such thing. And I don't see any holster, so this is more of a Mexican carry kind of thing. And the way he shoots, I would assume he's not a very well-trained person in terms of, of firearms. So he draws and this the attacker sees this and they basically shoot at each other. Almost at the same time, they end up shooting one another. Now, the, the store owner is more accurate and he puts those rounds. I think he shoots like two or three times. Now, the, the robber, as you see here in the back, the, the crystal um, display is shattering. This round missed the, the store owner by just a few inches. So there's a lot of luck involved here. Sometimes we see videos where obviously training skill uh, has been um, present there and has it, it, you know, taken an important part of all of this. Here luck is definitely on the side of the store owner. So he gets shot at but misses yet his rounds hit 
two, three times easily. Now he's using a revolver also. This goes for all of those folks that think that a revolver is either outdated or not efficient. Look, he used a revolver against three armed attackers. Let me know how that ended up working out for him. So he shot like three, four times. He still has a couple rounds in that gun. You know, so he keeps moving forward. And what you see him doing here, you know, some people will criticize. I think it's about the spirit of the moment, the violence. He didn't wake up this day thinking about killing people. This was all forced upon him by these criminals. So he shoots a couple more times the guys that got shot or, or, or fell while trying to run. He kicks them a couple of times and he brings out the gun that they dropped and he uses it for a couple more anchor, anchor shots there probably while they're on the floor we don't see that but by this this movement that he makes right let's see it one more time from the moment they start shooting because it is so short you know it's easy to judge if you haven't been through this now you know you have to be that guy so he shoots a couple more times those guys and when, when he thinks he's done he's, he kicks them picks up the revolver and yeah, yeah, just a couple more shots maybe there for those on the floor. So two of these died right there. The third criminal ended up dying in the hospital. And based on what I read, the store owner took off, escaped, probably worried about the legal implications of all of this. In my opinion, you, you cannot be judged by this because there's a, a, an element of, of emotional distress that is not on you. This is not your fault. If you're a store owner, you're just planning on selling hats, t-shirts, and shorts. This was brought upon you by these criminals. So you cannot be judged by the level of violence. He missed death by inches with that shot from the criminal. So you can understand why he would be upset and maybe react this way. Okay, at least that's the way I see it. Of course, this will all depend on who's... And one more thing, you notice this other guy, brother, associate, but obviously something here, someone working here in the store with him, he seems to be touching his waist a lot as if he has a gun. Now, if he has a gun, which would be my estimation, he's not been all that helpful throughout all of this. Also keep that in mind, some people may freeze when this happens. They, will may, they may not react at all and not be uh, all that helpful, all right? And yeah, revolver, great choice. You see this, these movements he makes, like you know, when people like move the gun when, while shooting, that is a clear indication of, of lack of, of proper firearms training. Doesn't matter here, he still manages to, to win this one. Uh, a huge element of luck, given how he missed that round. No holster, you know, but right choice of fire for someone that has very limited training, I would also recommend a revolver. Seems to be like a 38, maybe a 32. In any case, just worked very well for him and he is lucky to be alive given how close he was to catching that shot maybe in the, in the head. Okay, guys, so this, these are all just videos as to share information with you, illustrate how these things actually go down. Many are lucky, are lucky to never go through anything like this, but you can still learn from the experience of others thanks to these videos. And you see how in some cases, five, six, seven shots are fired. The, the guy, the bad guy just doesn't go down. Here with a couple of well-placed shots, likely center of mass hits, the guy goes down, so do the other two, and he ends up, well, finishing them off there on the floor. But in any case, a couple of those rounds, even against an armor attacker, were successful. Folks, that's going to be all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel. Share with people that may find it useful. See you in our next video. Have an awesome day.